So ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It's a privilege for me to be here to try to summarize for you the results of the two year versus one year of trastuzumab after adjuvant chemotherapy in women with HER2 positive early breast cancer at eight <coughs> years of median follow up. Here are my disclosures for this presentation. So the HERA trial was a very large international trial involving almost all regions of the world except the United States. Uh, it was conducted as a partnership between the Breast International Group <clears throat> and Roche. It involved uh, 5,102 women in a little over three years. The design of the trial, as you can see here on the slide, was a very pragmatic one because it allowed oncologists around the world to select their preferred neoadjuvant or chemotherapy regimen. And that was then followed by randomization into observation, one year of trastuzumab or two years of trastuzumab. The HER2 status <clears throat> had to be centrally confirmed prior to randomization, and the left ventricular ejection fraction had to be at least 55%. Now, note that uh, in 2005, after the release of the strikingly positive results of this trial and two other trials conducted in the United States, 52% of the women randomized in the observation arm selectively crossed over to receive trastuzumab. So here are the results of the comparison between two years of adjuvant trastuzumab and one year of adjuvant trastuzumab given after chemotherapy. And uh, as you can see, uh, the disease-free survival curves show no difference between the two treatment durations. In blue, you see the two-year arm, and in red, the one-year arm. This is an important slide because it shows the cumulative incidence of uh, cardiac endpoints. To the left, you see uh, the cumulative incidence of the primary or severely symptomatic cardiac endpoints. You see that they were rare and there is no difference between the two treatment durations. On the right, you see the cumulative incidence of primary or secondary cardiac events the secondary cardiac events are the asymptomatic or mildly symptomatic cardiac events. And you can see that during the first year, there is a constant rate of events uh, in the two arms that is then continuing for the second year in the two-year treatment duration arm. Importantly, you see that the curves become horizontal. And that tells us that very few women experience any cardiac event after stopping adjuvant trastuzumab. Most of the cardiac events in HERA, like in the other adjuvant trials of trastuzumab, have been reversible. So here you have a summary of uh, the disease-free survival intention to treat analysis across analysis time points in the HERA trial. Now the progressively uh, smaller apparent benefits in terms of disease-free survival for one-year trastuzumab across the different analysis time points generated some concern three years ago. The good news is that now, with eight years median follow-up, there is no further attenuation of benefit, and there is instead a very robust reduction in the risk of a disease-free survival event when you give one-year adjuvant trastuzumab you see that the pattern is exactly the same according to hormone receptor status. So women with HER2 positive breast cancer do benefit from trastuzumab whether they have hormone receptor positive tumors on the left or hormone receptor negative tumors on the right. For overall survival, we see the same pattern. As you can imagine, there was some concern in 2008 because it looked like the uh, survival benefit had disappeared, so it's very good news that now, with a very mature follow-up, we see a robust reduction in the risk of death with one year of trastuzumab given sequentially uh, to chemotherapy. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>